Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin's hopes for a relatively easy victory in the war against Ukraine hinge on Republican Donald Trump winning the US presidential election. Until then, Russia remains willing to suffer losses that make no operational or strategic sense. This was stated by retired American Colonel John Nagel, who is now a professor of combat operations at the US Army War College. In a commentary to the Wall Street Journal, he pointed to Trump's promises that if he gets another presidential term, he will seek a quick peace agreement between Kiev and Moscow, although Putin has made it clear that he wants Ukraine to capitulate. Ukraine continues to inflict losses on Russia that would be unbearable in any country that is not an absolute autocracy. Nagel stressed. The Wall Street Journal reported on the difficulties Ukraine is experiencing as it enters its third year of full-scale Russian invasion, especially ahead of a potentially dark winter. The occupation forces continue their relentless advance despite heavy losses, while Western leaders seek a strategy to end the war. Arms supplies from partners are limited and slow. President Joe Biden and other Western leaders have repeatedly said they want Ukraine to win, but they are not providing enough support to stop Russia and turn the tide Ukrainian officials and soldiers say, the journalists wrote. However, the aggressor country is also facing difficulties. Moscow's forces have not achieved a significant breakthrough despite their enormous efforts. According to US analysts, September 2024 was the deadliest month for the occupiers. Western intelligence says that Russia's losses that month amounted to approximately 1,200 killed and wounded every day. The Wall Street Journal, citing opinion polls, stated that the number of Ukrainians who are ready for negotiations is gradually increasing, but this does not mean that they are ready for concessions, the publication emphasized. According to an August poll by the Democratic Initiatives Foundation, less than one in ten citizens would be willing to give up some territory to Moscow to end the war. Ukrainian servicemen and drone pilot Oleksandr Solonko, who is fighting on the Eastern Front, said any peace deal other than one achieved by defeating the Russians on the battlefield would only freeze the conflict for a short time, allowing the enemy to rearm. They will attack again, and this will continue until our country disappears from the world map. The warrior explained his position. A Russian court on Monday convicted a French citizen of collecting military information and sentenced him to three years in prison. Laurent Venatier, a 48-year-old political scholar, who was arrested in Moscow in June, earlier admitted guilt, setting the stage for a fast-track trial. His lawyers asked the court to sentence him to a fine. In his remarks before the verdict, Venatier, speaking Russian, reaffirmed that he fully recognized his guilt. Detentions on charges of spying and collecting sensitive data have become increasingly frequent in Russia and its heavily politicized legal system since Moscow sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022. Venatier's arrest came as tensions flared between Moscow and Paris following French President Emmanuel Macron's comments about the possibility of deploying French troops in Ukraine. Russian authorities accused Venatier of failing to register as a foreign agent while collecting information about Russia's military and military technical activities that could be used to the detriment of the country's security. Venatier is an advisor for the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, a Switzerland-based non-governmental organization. It said in June that it was doing everything possible to assist him. The prosecutors charged that Venatier had collected military information during his meetings with three Russian citizens in Moscow in 2021-22. The Russian citizens weren't named in the indictment. The charges carried a prison sentence of up to five years, but the prosecutors asked for three and a quarter years in prison, given that he had fully admitted his guilt and cooperated with investigators. Still. Venatier's lawyers argued the sentence sought by prosecutors was too harsh and asked the judge to sentence him to a fine. They pointed at his career as a political scholar who focused on studying Russia and emphasized that his books and articles have been friendly to the country. While asking the judge for clemency, Venatier pointed at his two children and his elderly parents he has to take care of. The charges against Venatier relate to a law that requires anyone collecting information on military issues to register with authorities as a foreign agent. 
Human rights activists have criticized the law and other recent legislation as part of a Kremlin crackdown on independent media and political activists intended to stifle criticism of its actions in Ukraine. Понятно. Выходим. 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 Выходим.